Hey, welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. Okay, first things first. Oops. Blood sugar currently. <clears throat> 7.5. Says it's fully calibrated. I haven't really calibrated. That's from way earlier today. I will calibrate shortly. It's still a little early here. It's about 4.30 in the morning. I don't know. I seem to wake up early as I get to my old age. Okay, we have 1.125 units. I just had a correction around 4 o'clock, but last night was pretty stable. Da, da, da. So, that's um, what time and range was. Da, 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 da. 92%. 8% above, 92, no lows, and comes out at 8. This is up a bit, but I kind of like it high sevens. But eight, I'll take. This is a win. Time and range, I really like a lot better than sitting here waiting to find out what my hemoglobin A1C is. I've worked all week to get to this. So, yay. Big wins, big congrats. Today, I want to discuss which diabetes is the real diabetes. Just change the light here a bit. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. This channel is provided for informational purposes only. Contact your physician for any diagnostic or treatment plan. Years there's always been that one question. Do you have the bad type of diabetes or do you have the good type of diabetes? I really don't know how to answer that. Type two, if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't lose weight, type two can just be as serious. While type one, we don't produce any insulin. A lot of people associate type one being the worst part or you're the real diabetics. There's many different types of diabetes. You're not sort of like the good diabetic, the bad diabetic. All diabetes is bad. Your blood sugar gets raised. It's going to cause some form of complications, more than likely. So having time and range with blood sugars like this, is pretty awesome for any diabetic. I know on this channel we talk a lot about type one and type two is kind of pushed to the side. Well, that's because I feel a lot of type ones, we don't really have a voice. It's important that any diabetic take care of their blood sugars. Whether you have a glucometer, a pump, insulin needles, pens, it's important that you control your blood sugar. Now, let's do a brief little intro. Type 1 diabetes, the pancreas does not work at all. Or if it does, very little. Mine... I know does not work. 
And this is sort of proven if I forget to take an instant shot if I'm on shots or the pump. If my cannula is out of it for a while, my blood sugar will go through the roof. And fairly quickly, it's just like... Type 1s need supplemental insulin by injections. There's no way around it. Type 2, your body produces some insulin, just not enough insulin to cover the basic needs. Type 3, I call them type 3, but it's not, it's called gestational, is when a woman gets pregnant and her blood sugars raise. Awesome. There's a few others out there, but all diabetes is bad. And well, I don't say bad. You may be able to get yours under control and follow the game plan. Some people can't. And it may be food intake. It may be insulin issues. It may be they keep fighting illness. It's a whole mirage. Environmental can cause fluctuations. So saying a real diabetic, there is no such thing. When diabetics get together for years, we used to do classes. You were side and you go to these classes and a lot of times you were the only type one in the class. Everyone else was a type two. And they'd situate these classes for a type two. And then they go, oh, but with type one, it's this. And then they go on and talk about eating right. And now that wasn't. That was a good session, the eating right, learning how to count carbs. That was awesome. But medications and that, well, this is, you could take pills. Oh, and Mike or the, whoever was the type one, you have to take insulin. This doesn't apply to you. And it was kind of like, well, hello, what about my disease? You want me to learn about my disease and yet I get put into a class with a whole bunch of people who are type twos. Now granted, we, we did have fun. A lot of times I can remember um, St. Paul's down in Vancouver. I went there and I had a class and again, I was, I think there was another type one. But it was all situated mainly for type two. And I understand a lot of type two are out there. Type two is becoming an epidemic. A lot of times food is for convenience, a lot of hidden sugar, fats. I was caught up in eating that way. It wasn't the best thing. So what do you do? Well, they did change it to more individual. The classes are still there, but that's usually for type two. Type ones are usually more one-on-one. -on -one. Some of us type ones are problem children. 
meaning we have some issues in controlling diabetes. I'm in a current situation and I'll just answer this in the video. I got a comment saying, well, why are you always lying down? Why don't you just get up and walk? Well, neuropathy, I really need a chair to get around. Walking the pains and legs have progressed from years ago just being twinges in the feet to let the calf and I finally had to when I went out sit in a chair I would go out do shopping I do out do everything I also have complications with the gut and sitting up doesn't always make it comfortable for me. The third thing is, I do these videos early in the day. The whole place hasn't even woken up yet. I wake up early. I utilize the time here. So those are the three main reasons. There are a few videos of me sitting up. Now, both types of diabetes, sorry, let's move on. Both types of diabetes can cause complications. Mine progressed rather quickly, and I think I wasn't out there to cause, and even when I tried to control my blood sugar, the complications came on. I think, as some of you know, my early years as a diabetic weren't as great as they should be. Do, 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 do. I ate what I want, uh, I take insulin. But back then, insulin and, you know, you just take what your doctor prescribed. I call that pretty much the dark ages. And I may have got that off another video of another creator. But it really fits that back when I was diagnosed, you take your insulin, you're non-DKA. Most doctors were happy. You weren't sort of, as long as your blood sugar was under 12, I think it was. If you were in the hospital and you got blood sugars less than 12, they discharged you. And again, it was The best place for a diabetic is out of a hospital. And I fully agree with that. I've lived that. Now, my diabetes and my complications, I require a little bit more. But when I was having problems, I know my mother, when I was living with my mother, said, oh, well, you should go to the hospital and the, they will, they will set you up. Sometimes I'd end up in the hospital because of complications. Sometimes being a young diabetic, it was my fault. And I've said this before. I was sort of like, here, your diabetic, boom, boom, here, here are the keys, go. And I had an issue with the doctor, and that kind of tilted, and I 
when on many years of not taking care of myself. I'm guilty for that. And hopefully through these videos, people see and learn about diabetes and don't have the same things happen to them. Being a real diabetic means you take care of yourself. Oh yes, I'm a diabetic. And some people tend to bring it up only when it's convenient. Oh, you're a type one. Sometimes we're pigeonholed. Let me just say this. And I've said it before in this video. All diabetes is serious. We talk about type 1, type 2, and sometimes gestational, but we're all the same. We're diabetic. We have problems controlling our sugars. The way we control our sugars changes between individuals. They have found that type 2 drugs work sometimes with type 1s. It's fate. Da, 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 da. So, diabetes, whether you have type 1, type 2, or you gestational and you're carrying child, they're all important. And you should do your best to keep your blood sugar within 3.9, which I believe is about 70 in the States, to, sorry, to 10, which is 180 in the US. Keeping your blood sugars within those two ranges, whether you're type one or type two. Type ones, if you decide you're gonna exercise, that will help your diabetes. However, exercise and eating right won't mysteriously lower your blood sugars because we don't have any insulin. The whole point of type two is making the insulin they produce more effective. So that's where exercise can help lower their blood sugars. For us type ones, there is some resistance, but it's not the main part of the disease. Type one is supplementing your body with insulin, seeing what happens with your blood sugars while you supplement and continue on. So is there a better type of diabetes or is there the real type and all the others are fake? I have to say no. Everybody needs to control their blood sugars. How we go about it may change whether you're type one, type two or gestational. But getting your body the closest to a normal blood sugar and maintaining it there is the key for all diabetics. Type one, type two, gestational, and any other of the diabetes out there. And with that, we're gonna call it a day. I hope you have a super day out there and we'll be right back. My email is mikesdiabetesworld at gmail.com. Mike's Diabetes World at gmail.com.